So we've recently gotten some new information about the Rugrats reboot coming in 2020, 2021, that type of area from Young Hollywood, which is a company I have never heard of. So yeah, anyway, let's jump into it. Hello Roy, it's me, Chester, your main source for Nickelodeon related news, I suppose. That was never my intention to be. <laughs> so Rugrats was, of course, a massive show. Before Spongebob, before Jimmy Neutron, before The Loud House, before any of that type of stuff, there was Rugrats. It was one of the very first massive shows for Nickelodeon. I loved it, you love it, we all love it. To prove it, I do own all the seasons. I can't find the other couple. I know where they are. And we've also all heard the reason of why the show was, in the end, really cancelled. And that was because of All Grown Up, in a lot of ways. Not completely its fault, there were, of course, a lot of other reasons, but Nickelodeon wanted the team to focus on All Grown Up, the team didn't really want to focus on All Grown Up, and both shows, in the end, got cancelled. And a lot of people don't like All Grown Up. In fact, I think I'm probably the only person in the world who really likes All Grown Up. And that's not really any merit of the show. I think the show has some failings. I think it's also really, really good and a perfect continuation from Rugrats in a lot of ways for me. And also I was just at the perfect age when I started watching it. Everything felt so, it really connected with me because when you're 11, you really want to be older and be doing older things. And the show really kind of appealed to me at that age. And I really enjoyed it. But we're not talking about All Grown Up, even though I would love to see that get rebooted and come back. But apparently no one else in the team who made it liked it. So that's never going to happen. Um, so I made a video about the original announcement of the reboot back in 2018. Once again, a baby's gotta do what a baby's gotta do. In celebration of our announcement of the all-new Rugrats feature film to be released with Paramount Players in 2020 and the upcoming new season on Nick to follow. So, a new Rugrats movie made by Paramount, the people who made the first three, and the brand new season. Nickelodeon is seeing the market that they have here that they aren't capitalizing on and they're finally going with it, which just, it spells such a good opportunity for Jimmy Neutron Revival. Such a good opportunity. They might do a Rugrats All Grown Up reboot, which I would personally love. I feel like I'm the only person in the world who would. In reality, there hasn't been that much news regarding it since then. It's mostly been under wraps. Type of stuff. There hasn't been a trailer, there hasn't been a reveal of what the designs are going to be, that type of stuff. But I wanted to do an update video firstly because that original video was on my previous channel so it's not here and I would like to have it on here just so I can you know, link back to it if I ever talk about the stuff in the future, which I will, and I'll do videos on the episodes as they come out. So here's the main, most important quote from the entire article. The Rugrats reboot has been in talks for quite some time, since the early part of the decade. Pwah! Might I just point out that uh, the voice actress for Tommy was on a podcast and she, you could kind of tell something was going on from the way she was talking about stuff. She was a very quiet about all the possibility of reboot type of stuff. So obviously she contractually was not allowed to talk about any of that type of stuff. And was finally given the green light in mid 2018. So we know that much at least. So from the article, we know that they are producing 20 six episodes, so a bit more than the usual 24 episode seasons that we often do get. So 26 brand new episodes are in production right now. And we also, from this article, got some more information about this live action movie, which I was very skeptical about when they first announced. So I was like, I do not in any way, shape or form intend to ever go see a Rugrats movie with live action actors holding like a CGI Tommy. No, no, not live action Rugrats. No, 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 I don't want to see it. No, 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 ah, no, I don't want to see it. Please, I don't want to see it. Ah, ah, no. Type of thing. I do not want to ever see that. But from the looks of things, what we're actually going to be getting is more in the lines of the Peanuts movie, where it's a CGI movie, quote unquote, live action, like that new um, Lion King movie, which was quote-unquote live action, even though it's just as animated and computer done and all that type of stuff as the original movie, except it's not hand done, it's now done on a computer. It's, that's the only thing that makes it live action. It also looks more realistic, I suppose. So that's the type of live action they're doing for this movie. It's just going to be a CGI movie like the third SpongeBob movie is going to be. 
also to prove that I'm quite a big fan of this show, I have on VHS, I used to have a, a way more VHS, I don't know where they all are, this is the one I still have, which is the Rugrats Vacation one. VHS on Nickelodeon yellow orange VHSs, just saying. Pride and joy this. One thing we don't know about the show yet is the art style they're going for. So there was quite a bit of a buzz when Nickelodeon announced the Rugrats Kaboom uh, comic book series. So I have the first edition here. This is the only edition I have just because I was in New York and I was at a comic book store and I saw it and I saw that it was the first edition and I was like, okay, I gotta buy that because it's the Hanukkah one. And it's a really, really good comic. I love the art style. I love the storyline. The storyline was really classic Nickelodeon. Um, classic Rugrats with that perfect mix of the adult side of everything and the kids side of this fantastical stuff going on. It was a really good comic and I'm really interested in getting some of the other ones but um, I doubt they will go for this type of art style because this is a, a massive departure from the original show. But it'll be interesting to see where they land if it's land somewhere similar to this while retaining some of the original show. I there is no way they're going to completely change the art style. The amount of backlash they get from that. The, the team knows how much people love the original art style and love the original show. So they're not going to deviate too much. But you see with Spongebob over the years how its animation has changed. From the original show to now where everything's very spongy and kind of squishy and all that type of stuff. And everyone's very stretchy type of thing. And a lot more kind of gross out humour. And I wonder how that will impact Rugrats. If they'll go in that type of direction or if they're going to re maintain the original show's art style. We'll see how that goes. I know, it's just got all the kind of identity that I want in the Rugrats comic in like so many ways. It's got that that fantastical nature about it, but then it's also got the reality side, which is on the parents and how like stressed and worried they are type of thing. And then you just got the kids who are completely oblivious to everything. And you also just got perfect, the comic has just that perfect banter between all the kids type stuff and then also the parents. It was just a really good comic and I really want to get some of the other ones. I don't read comics that much. I have a massive crate though filled with really, really old like original Spongebob and a few Jimmy Neutron comics. So if you want to see that and me to go through all of those, let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, so that's Basically everything we have so far and know so far about Rugrats the uh, reboot. We know there's going to be 26 episodes with a live action movie. It says it's going to be coming out early 2021 it said. I think, so, let me check. Yeah, so the CGI movie is slated to release early 2021. So that's pretty realistic. So that's not next year, that's the year after that, early in that type of year. So we'll most likely be getting trailers, release, release dates, all that type of stuff throughout next year and we'll see when we actually get the show. The show might come before the movie, it might come after, it might start around the same time the movie comes out. We don't really know yet, but there's a lot of great stuff here for Rugrats fans, a lot of cool stuff for us all to be uh, interested in and to talk about. And let me know in the description, uh, description in the comments down below, uh, are you a fan of Rugrats? Are you happy about the Rugrats reboot? Are you gonna go see this live action movie? Uh, are you a bit skeptical about everything at the moment? Let me know in the comments down below. Just thought I would quickly mention that also over the next few coming months, I'm going to be doing quite a lot of stuff related to Rugrats, from Nicktoons related stuff, to Rugrats games, from the GBA, to the PlayStation 2, all that type of stuff. And I'm also going to be talking about quite a few of their specials and all that type of stuff. So if you're interested in any of that, uh, consider subscribing and following along with the channel. One last thing, you saw probably on the thumbnail and right here now, and also on the channel logo probably, there's a new art style character thing that's been done by Spixie Cafe for me. Thank you so much. It looks amazing. I'm so happy with it. We're going to be using that in all the thumbnails or most of the thumbnails and also on the channel and all that type of stuff. Thank you so much for that. It looks amazing. I hope you all like it as well. I'll link to her channel down in the uh, description below if you want to check out her and the different art styles and stuff she does. She does lots of speed art stuff. She did a really cool one on a um, one of the robots from Battle for Bikini Bottom, so check that out down below. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next video. Bye-bye.